Welcome to my channel folks. Today I am going to show you how you can sync S3 buckets across AWS accounts. As usual I have written an article to help us through that. So let us go ahead and see what are the steps that we require to copy objects from one account to another account. To get this set up first we need to get the 12 digit AWS account number for the destination bucket. So that means that we need a source account and a destination account. So let us go ahead and see what is our source account and destination. So here I have my source account and you can see here it is a trainer admin and it is on an account called as ARIVEU. And I have an S3 bucket. The name of the bucket is static web galaxy demo. If I go ahead and click on that and you can see here there are a few objects that are listed in my bucket. So that is my source account. Let us go ahead and see my destination account as well. Here we are in my destination account and you can see here it is drawn at Gurukul and I have an S3 bucket which is called as static website demos. So if I go ahead and open that and you can see here as of now that is empty. So the first step in our article is to get the 12 digit account number of my destination account. And how do I do that? If you go to your billing management or if you go to your name on the right hand side top corner and click on accounts or my account and you in the account settings you will find your 12 digit account number so that is something that we need to go ahead and copy it so let us go ahead and do that and next thing is we are going to need a policy so we are done with getting step no step number one that is the destination aws account so next thing is we need to attach a policy to our source bucket and i have written a template policy here and all you have to do is go ahead and change the account number and also put in the source bucket name here. So I have filled in the values. So all you have to do is change in the template policy to suit your requirements, especially here and here. And all we have to do is attach it to our S3 bucket now. So here is the template policy. I'm going to change my account number and I'm just going to edit it. So I'm just going to copy this over and attach it to my source bucket. So our source bucket is here with all the objects. Go to permissions and go to bucket policy. Update your policy here and then all you have to go ahead and do is click on save. So it is going to validate the policy and once it is done it is going to accept it. So we are done with the step number two as well and the step number three is here. So we need to attach a policy to the IAM user from the destination account from where we are going to do the copy command or the sync command. Once again, I have written a templated policy and all you need to do is change in your source bucket name and also your destination bucket name here. So let's go ahead and do that. So here, as you can see here, I filled out my source bucket name and I also filled out my destination bucket name. So I'm just going to copy this over and create a custom policy in my destination account. So I'm in my destination account and I am service and under policies you can see here I just searched for S3 there are no custom policies. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a custom policy click on JSON and I'm just going to paste the code that we just made out and then go ahead and click on review policy. So it is going to ask me what is the name of this policy going to be. I'm just going to say S3 sync cross account sync. Let us call it as cross account sync. Just going to keep it as the same description and just going to say create policy. So now we have created a custom policy and we need also need a user so that we can attach this policy to. So I'm going to create a new user. I'm going to call it S3 copier and I just going to need uh, programmatic access only. I don't need a console access for this user. So you, you can create a user without a, a programmatic access also, but then you will need to attach a role or you need to attach other permissions or console access for this user. So in this case, I'm going to create programmatic access. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to attach the policy that we just now created. So I'm just going to pull up that policy, click on select, click on next review and then click on create user. So it is going to give me my credentials. I'm just going to download my credentials. So my credentials are downloaded. I'm just going to close here. So my next step for creating an IAM user which has a custom policy is also ready now. So the final step of copying objects is 
you can have a Linux instance in the cloud or you can have your own Linux uh, Mac laptop and which has the necessary credentials for the user we just now created and go ahead and execute this command. So that is what we are going to do now. I already have a Linux instance locally and with the credentials we just now created, I'm going to set up uh, AWS CLI and then go ahead and execute this command. Here's the full command where is it? I'm calling up the S3 service and saying it needs to sync the source bucket, which is this one, followed by the destination bucket name. And I'm also giving the source region as my AP South. If you remember, I'm in a different account where the source bucket is in this region and my destination bucket is in this region. So let us go ahead and execute this command now. And it is going to go ahead and copy all the objects from my source bucket to my destination bucket. So it's completed. Let us go to our S3 console and check it out. Here, as you can see here, the browser has not exactly refreshed. So let's go ahead and pull up the fresh screen here. And you can see here, I can see all the new objects that has been synced over from my source bucket. And if you notice, including the last modified object uh, values are also from April 18th, which is when the objects were pulled over from my source bucket. So that says that these objects have been created just now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I am happy to help them through the comment section. And if you like my videos, go ahead and share them and subscribe to my channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.